Okay, we have here a nice integral today. We've got the integral from zero to infinity, sine to the fourth x over x squared dx. Okay, I was really liking this one just because I think this is gonna go really quick if I just split it up a certain way. So with that numerator, that's sine to the fourth, let's just break it up like this and write it as sine squared over x squared and then multiply it times sine squared x. And now that we have it written like this, we can use Lobachevsky's integral on this. All I need to do is just notice this here is in perfectly the right form, sine squared over x squared. It would work just as well if we had sine over x. And then in the formula of this piece right here, this is just gonna be our f of x value. And our requirement for this is just that it's even and pi periodic. That's pretty apparent just looking at it, but let's do the check to make it clear. So if we, if we just look at f of pi minus x, well, sine pi minus x, that's just gonna be sine x. So if we square that, we just get back sine x, and this is equal to f of x. And then doing the check the other way, what happens when we plug pi plus x in for sine x? That's actually gonna be a minus sine x, but this whole thing is squared, so what we get back is still sine squared x. Sorry, I forgot my square here. I just did it really quick, but that's, again, but same thing here, this is actually gonna be f of x. So, so both these checks work and we can go ahead with the formula. What this is gonna allow me to do is just rewrite this. The bounds change, they go from zero to infinity. Now that we're just integrating from zero to pi over two. And we just have our f of x, which is gonna be pretty easy to deal with. We just need to integrate sine squared x dx. So on this right here, we'll just use our power reduction and rewrite this. So I'll bring one half in front and then for our formula on this, I can write this as 1 minus cosine 2x dx. Go ahead and integrate. We've got 1 half in front. This is going to be x minus sine 2x. Then we just have to have a half come out here and just evaluate from 0 to pi over 2. When you plug in 0, sine of 0 is nothing. That's going to be nothing, so don't worry about that part. Then we'll have our 1 half in front. Plug in pi over 2. Well, pi over two minus one half sine two times pi over two is gonna become a pi right there. But sine of pi, that's just zero. So then all we need to do, just distribute that and right there. For my final solution of this, we just get pi over four. Okay, so there you go. That one goes really quick, just stripping out the sine x. You can kind of do the check in your head and then you're just integrating sine squared x. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.